This is the Schubert calculator model DRV. It is a very well designed uh, pinwheel calculator and it was in production from 1952 until the 1970s even. It works like any other pinwheel calculator. You enter a number using these input levers and what you've entered is visible in the display register up here. If you turn the crank, that input number gets added to the main register and the counter is incremented by one. It turns very smoothly. I've turned the crank four times now, so I've essentially multiplied this number by four. You can then uh, shift the carriage uh, to do to do larger calculations, larger multiplications. You can shift the carriage using these buttons. Or you can use this button to shift it any amount. Or you can use the, these, yeah, this button underneath the crank. It's very easy to move, and uh, yeah, it's as if the carriage almost moves itself. When you push the button, you uh, push against a spring, and then when the carriage releases and starts to move, it's as if it moves itself, because you've already put in all the energy that's needed to move it. And the same is with these buttons. That same design philosophy of making it very easy for the user to move the controls was applied to the clearing levers as well. This is the clearing lever for the main register and it's made of two parts hinged in the middle that uh, makes it so that the first part of the movement uh, that is normally that normally takes the most force is uh, is eased by this hinged section i'll show you what i mean by turning it and here you can see what happens as you can see uh, as this button moves the the main clearing part actually moves slowly in the first part, in the first section. So that the force that you as the user need to uh, exert on this button is not very much. The same is done for this clearing lever for the uh, input. It also is in two parts to, uh, yeah, to ease the uh, transition. The clearing lever for the counter doesn't have this, but that's not necessary. Note, by the way, that uh, the clearing lever on this side, it actually clears both counters, both the, the, the counter register and the main register. If you only want to clear the main register, you need to hold down this uh, this button in the middle that uh, disconnects the uh, clearing mechanism of the two halves. This machine also has a, a back transfer mechanism so this number can be transferred back into the input and that is this lever back here. To activate it you have to push the, the input clearing lever forward first so that the input is cleared and then pull this back to activate 
the mechanism. Now the uh, output register is connected up to the input levers so that when you clear it, the number transfers. On the back here we have the uh, serial number, a Schubert, uh, which was uh, based in Rastatt, uh, the model DRV and the serial number 132890, made in Western Germany. This here is from the reseller, the office supply company. This machine was designed by Emil Schubert, he used to work for Thales, and yeah, in the um, mid 1930s, in I think 1936, he was unfortunately forced out of the company. He was the sole director by then. He was one of the co-founders, and uh, yeah, co-founded the Thales company together with uh, Max Müller, who was more of the uh, the salesman to. Emil Schubert's engineer. But uh, yeah, in 1936, Emil Schubert was the, the sole uh, director of the company, but he was forced out in, uh, yeah, during the tumultuous uh, rise of the Nazi Germany. And yeah, he left and founded his own company, the Schubert Company, in 1938. He, yeah, during that uh, gap year in between, he designed this machine, essentially. And, uh, yeah, they started producing that from 1938 or 1939. During the war, uh, yeah, the factory had to produce, uh, well, in the second half of the war, the factory had to produce uh, arms and ammunition. But, uh, yeah, after the war... Uh, they managed to, to start producing calculators again. And, uh, yeah, the only changes they made to the uh, machines were very minor. Mainly the addition of this, yeah, this carriage shifting lever on the right to make it, uh, yeah, controllable by, by one hand. Uh, so, yeah, the first machines were models A and B, or, and also AR and BR. The R me meant that it had the uh, back transfer mechanism, and the A and B are simply two different uh, capacities. I think the A was the smaller one, with only six digits in the input and in the counter, and uh, ten or so in the, or eight maybe, in the main register. And the B was the same as this size. Those were replaced by the C and D models, of which, yeah, this is one. So this is the DRV. The model D, the R because it has the back transfer, and the V because it has the one-handed controls. There was later also the DW, which was the same, but without these controls and without the back transfer. That was a cheaper model. There was also still the uh, CW and the CRV, which were the same, but with a smaller capacity. So, yeah, this model was uh, really successful and was produced well into the 1970s. So, this was the Schubert Model DRV. Thank you for watching.